Well, we have done it. We've got our first mythic ring inside the game, and that's going to be the guardian ring. And to be completely honest with you, I actually goofed on this about a week ago. I was sitting on six legendary guardian rings, and I took one of them that was at legendary plus zero and combined it with another one, and I totally ruined my chances of taking this to mythic. So here we are now. I'm finally able to redeem myself and take this thing to mythic. Now to a lot of you, this may not look like anything special at all. It's not an S grade, it's a guardian ring. But for me, this is actually kind of a big deal because I am working my way to get a mythic whisperer, which hopefully I should have next rotation here. So being able to pair this up with a guardian ring is going to make a huge difference. So currently sitting at 293.64 million for my CP. And to be honest with you, when you're sitting this high for power, going and taking an item like this to mythic isn't really gonna make a huge difference. So I think we got to 294.76 million, which is just a little bit under a million, but still it's a pretty nice number to see. My attack for this went from 22.6K to 27.5K and my defense went from 55.52 to 69.40. But all these numbers really don't mean too much to me at all. The big thing is going to be having that mythic stat inside the game. Now, once again, this may not look like much at all, but this mythic stat is going to reduce the cooldown of using this guardian ring, meaning that we're gonna be popping every three rounds instead of every four. There's nothing gonna change. We're still gonna be getting the two daggers and we're gonna be getting a shield that lasts for two rounds at 10%. For me, being in the late game, having this shield pop every three rounds instead of four is gonna be an absolute game changer. Now, for most of you that are killing mobs, say, within three rounds, this doesn't really seem like much because you're probably overpowered in attack and are just crushing right through it. But where I'm at, where these rounds go and take forever, sometimes maxing out close to that 30 rounds, this means instead of going and getting eight shields, I can now get 10 of them. And the fact that originally those shields would only last two rounds, that would leave me with two rounds that were being unprotected and not having a shield at all. Now granted, there's a good chance that the mob was gonna hit me and wipe that shield right out, but still, it's a nice little comfort zone to know it's there. What I'm really looking forward to is pairing this up with just a legendary one and having those shields kind of stagger. Ideally, it would be perfect to just have two of these things at Mythic, but that's gonna take a little bit before I get there. And I guess at the same time too, I should mention that we will be getting another four daggers out of this if we do make it to that round 30. But overall, I've grown to love the Guardian Ring more and more as I get further in the game. And I did really love it a lot, but once I switched over the Star Staff, it kind of became obsolete to me. But I'm glad to have it back again, glad to be able to use this thing in its mythic state, and I'm looking forward to crushing it. So if this is something you're thinking about investing in, I definitely think it is a good idea to get yourself a mythic one of these, if not two of them, and really test it out and go with some dagger fun. But if you guys are wondering about those banner events you see at top and getting all those extra rewards out of the gifts and if they're worth it, you should take a look at this video right here. Thanks for watching and remember, I pick my butt.